Here's a look at the Alpine wall fountain. This is 24 inches wide by 72 inches high. And I picked this up on Amazon for about 515 at the time. Um, if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below. The price does fluctuate a little bit, so check it out when you're watching this video. I really do love this fountain. It's really nice to hear the peaceful water noises when I come home. I have this right in my entryway when I open the door. And it seems to be a good build quality. Um, I'll update the description as I have it longer. Let me show you how to put it together and I'll give you some more impressions after the assembly. So inside the box we have a manual, a towel, and a toothbrush. And right away I noticed that the fountain is a lot lighter than I'm expecting. So the base is made out of a thin metal. In this box we have the pump, some fittings for the pump, a spare bulb, and a bag of rocks. right on top of here. All right, so now I have the instruction manual here. Let's go ahead and put this fountain together. So we'll first route the light cable through this rubber grommet here. Now the cable is through the grommet here. We're gonna grab our pump and turn it to the max setting. And we're gonna take the pump and on the rear of this tray here, we're gonna route the cable out of this rubber grommet. I will also take the light cable and route that behind there too. Now we're gonna grab the top of the fountain and slide it into the base. And we want to make sure that this is against a wall, especially when you're putting this together because this could easily tip over. Now inside the fountain, we're going to tighten the bolts down. So in the fountain here, we're going to remove this cover, set it aside, and we're going to tighten down these wing nuts. We repeat the same thing on this side with those two wing nuts as well. You'll notice there's a foam pad here. We're going to keep that there because this is gonna help the motor not vibrate against this metal base. Now we're gonna connect this pump valve into the submersible pump. Take this with the black end down and screw it into the pump. Make sure it's nice and snug. Now we're gonna connect this pump valve to this other end of the PVC connector. Slide this connector here and just tighten this down. Once that is connected, we're gonna make sure this is in the open connection um, and that's just parallel with the pipe. Now we're ready to fill this with water. Make sure you fill it to, with water up to 6.6 .6 gallons. All right, so once you have the fountain full of water, we simply just close this cap here. We're gonna put rocks on top of here, but we can go ahead and actually just plug in the fountain now. And you'll notice the water is coming down from the top. To connect the light, we take that transformer and plug that cable into here and screw it down. Go ahead and plug the light in. And we can spread our rocks right. So a couple notes after you have this water fountain assembled, I've had it for about a day now, you'll notice that the water um, trickles down and it covers the, you know, the front of the mirror. 
When you first turn it on, it might be spotty, but you just have to give it some time, maybe 30 minutes or overnight, and then it starts to even out. Um, the sound is about a medium high, so not really loud, but also not the quietest. And so I think it would work very well in a um, larger environment. I do like it here. I can hear it from upstairs, which is also nice. Overall, the build quality seems to be pretty solid. It is made out of like a sheet metal that's painted black. So it is pretty lightweight, easy to put together. Um, you know, over time, we'll see how this performs. The motor seems pretty powerful. Right now I have it on its highest setting. The light is a nice touch. It reflects off of the water and at nighttime on the walls and stuff, it kind of makes it look like there's a candle glowing in the room or something like that. Uh, overall, good impressions on this fountain. For the price, I do think it's worth it. I picked this up again for around 515. A lot of these fountains can go up for up to $1,000 or 1500 in this size. So uh, it's a very reasonable price point. Also, it has free delivery. And again, they deliver it to your room of choice. If you guys do have any questions on this fountain, go ahead and leave them down below. And I will try to get those answered. Let me know what you guys think. Would you put a fountain in your house? And please hit that thumbs up button if you did find the video helpful. I really do appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel to see tech videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.